Hey what's going on guys welcome to another video and in today's video we are going to continue our react project so in the last video we actually did the setup of the application so we installed node we installed our react application and it's completely empty at the moment if you remember we just have this hello world in here I mean just like increase the size so you can see we just have this like hello world in here but now we are actually going to start populating our website, okay? So, let's go to our Visual Studio Code. This is what we left before. So, first thing I want to do in here is I want to start putting some styling, okay? So, I'm going in here on the side on my Visual Studio Code. I'm going to create a new folder in here and I'm going to call it Styles, okay? And inside of this folder styles, I'm going to create a file called main.css. All right, so in here, I'm going to put this rule. I'm going to target everything and I'm going to give a margin zero, a padding zero and box sizing border box. I always do this in all my projects. After, I'm going to target the body and I'm going to give it a back ground color of royal blue all right so created these now uh we can get rid of this index so we are going in here in our app.js where we are writing down mainly our code and i'm going to import this css so import and then i'm going to put dot slash this means that it's on the same level as our app.js we are going into styles and then inside of styles we have our main.css okay so we got this one let's save let's see what's in here i think i need to rebuild our project all right sometimes sometimes react you need to stop the server and just like rebuild it so what you can do in here look in here from our command line you need to press Control C together on your keyboard to to basically close it. Okay, Control C. And now I'm gonna do it again. NPM start, and it should load up. Okay, I'm just getting rid of this. It's just loading now. So yeah, now it's fine. Look, we got all our body with a background color of royal blue. So we got this one set up now. I want to start up with uh, input, all right? So I'm gonna put my input. So what I want to do is this input in here, okay? I'm gonna start with this one. So I'm gonna put input type text and I'm just closing it. Now, I'm gonna show you this. On regular HTML, okay, when you are writing down an input like this, you can just leave it as it is. But in here, on, on React, look, it, it gives you an error, okay? It says like unterminated JSX content uh, on line seven in here, okay? This is because you have to close down all the elements. So you need to put a slash in there in the end. This applies the same for images, okay? Usually on HTML, you can just put a, a image with the source tags, something like this, and it's fine. But in here, on React, you need to put a forward slash, okay? So this is just for you to be aware of that. So we are gonna put our input of the type text, and I also want to put a label okay this label is where we are going to write down something like search for a movie search for a movie i'm going to save this uh label label okay so now look if i go in here look what what it says adjacent jsx elements must be wrapped in an enclosed tag so what does this mean this means that inside of our return you need to have one main container you can't have like two children directly like this okay you need to put them inside of a div so what i'm going to do in here is i'm going to put a div with a class 
But listen, in here in React, you can't put classes like in, uh, in normal HTML because class is a reserved word for JavaScript for these kind of things in here at the top. So you, instead of just class, you need to put class name like this. All right, so I'm going to put uh, input, maybe like this, input container, okay? So I'm going to put this div. I'm going to put this in here and now I'm going to indent this one. All right, so as you can see, there is this main container just wrapping everything. So now our code should be fine. Let me see. Look, now there is no error. We are all good. Okay, let me start putting some, some styling in here already. So I'm going to target my input container and I'm going to give it a width of 1170 pixels uh, I'm gonna give it uh, let me see what do I have in here uh, I'm gonna give it a padding of uh, 20 pixels top and bottom and 30 pixels left and right I'm gonna give it a border radius of 10 pixels for example I'm gonna give it a margin of uh, 20 pixels top and bottom and left and right auto so let's see how does this look like okay this is fine so far now i want to give it a background color of white for example look at this much better and also now i want to target my label and I'm going to give it a margin right of, uh, let's say, 20 pixels. I don't know if this... Yeah, it looks fine. Maybe in, in this label in here, I'm going to give it a font size, maybe like uh, 22 pixels, and I'm going to give it a font weight, a font weight of bold, all right? Yeah, it's a little bit better now. Okay, so we got this one ready. Now, let's start actually with this part, okay? This part in here. Um, yeah, so let's go back in here to our code. And what I'm going to do in here is I'm going to start with another div and I'm going to call this class name of movies because it's going to take all the movies, movies container, okay? And in here, I'm going to put a div with a class name of movie. So it's singular now. Okay, movie container. Container. I'm going to close this down. And inside of this movie container, I'm going to put a div with a class name of the class name of movie image and then I'm going to put a paragraph with a class name of movie title and then I'm going to copy this up and I'm going to put the class name of movie year okay this is what I want to put Right now, just as an example, I'm going to put something just like random. So I'm going to put in here, for example, Dark Knight. And I'm going to put, for example, 2005. Okay, let's save this and see how does it look like. Oh, we got an error. Uh, adjacent uh, JSX elements must be wrapped. Okay, like I told you before, look, there is these children in here inside of the return. These children in here, input container, and there is this one, okay, movies container. So they are both direct children of return. So it doesn't work. We need to put just one, everything wrapped into one element. So I'm going to put maybe in here a div with a class name of container. So this is going to be the regular container, the main container of the project. And I'm going to put this down here. And now I'm going to indent this with my tab. Okay, look, now there is only one in here, one container. Okay, we got this ready. Let's see how does it look like. 
So we at the moment we just got this one, Dark Knight, uh, two thousand and five. Let's let's put some styling in here. So I can go in here and put, for example, uh, let's say on my movies container. Okay, I'm gonna put a background color of um, white. Okay, I'm going to put the same border radius, where is it, of 10 pixels. So this is fine. Um, I also, I'm going to put the same uh, padding, like this one. I think it should work fine. Okay. So it's fine. I also want to put my width to be the same. Okay. And this is fine. And now... I want to put the margin to be auto, so it's like centered on the page. So you got this one as well <laughs> ready. Now let's go to our movie, movie, um, movie image. Okay, this is what I want to do. I want to give my movie image a height of uh, maybe like 300 pixels and my width oops and my width of let's say 200 pixels this is just an example i'm going to put 220 and okay just just as an example i'm going to put a background image uh, I don't remember now if we put already, let me see, this is my search menu, we got, uh, we still don't have our images, okay, so I'm going to put them now in a second, so this is fine, let's go to our code, I'm going to put a background image, but we don't have the images, we're going to get them now, inside of our source folder in here in our project, we are going to create another folder called assets, okay, so this folder assets is where we're going to put our images. So I'm going in here to, to my project that is already done. I'm going to the source, my styles, my images. So I'm just going to grab all of these ones. And I'm going to put inside of my uh, source assets and I'm going to put them in here. Okay, so this is ready now. So I'm going to put URL and what's the URL? Since we are in main.css in here, oops, in here, we need to go one level up, dot, dot, slash to go one level up. Then we go into assets and I'm going to put, for example, the dark night.jpg. I'm going to put the background background size cover uh, and let, let's see how does it look like let me see so if I go in here yeah oh look now is much better so you can see that we have our first movie in here so you got this one I also want to put for my movie container so movie container I'm gonna put a border of one pixel solid black okay so this should be fine movie container let me see um ah yeah that's fine yeah movie container because I, I i need to do something else in here after let me just put like two of these for example okay let me save let's see yeah because now look they are all looking like this and I don't want this. Oh, sorry. Let me just undo this. I just want to copy this one. And inside of the movies container, we are going to put multiple movies. That's it. This is what I want. Okay. Now, what I want to do is my movies container, this one. I want to put it as a display flex. I want to justify the content on space around 
and I want to put, let's see, let's see, yeah, this is fine now, look, we got one in here, we got another one in here, uh, inside of my movie container, I'm going to put the text align to be center, so we got this one in here, so this is fine, now, um, what else can I do in here? We got this one, this one. Ah, uh, let me see. I'm gonna target. I'm gonna target the movie title. I'm gonna give it a margin of. Um, I'm gonna give it a padding. Now, just margin. Margin of 10 pixels all around, so it looks better. Now we'll do the same with the movie movie ear. Okay, let's put a dot in here, make sure we got everything right. So it looks much better now. Uh, okay, now I'm gonna miss the hover things. Okay, let me see what did I have in here. So I put exactly the same thing. So in my movie container, if I go in here into hover, I'm gonna put this and I'm gonna copy this one. I'm going to actually copy all of these, okay? So you can see, so I don't have to be typing down everything. So my movie container, when I'm going to be in hover, I'm going to put this box shadow, I'm going to turn my cursor into a pointer and I'm going to get rid of the border, okay? Let's see how does it look like. Look, it looks fine, but the transition is very fast. I don't want this. So I'm going in here into my movie container. I'm going to put transition. I'm going to target all the transitions. I, I could just target, for example, the, the, um, the border transition, but I don't want, I want everything. If I'm going to put something else, so I'm going to put transition all, and this transition is going to take 0 0.4 seconds, and it's going to be ease in out. It's my favorite one. Okay, look how smooth it looks. Yeah, okay, it looks good. Now we need to put like loads of different movies in here. So for that, I'm gonna copy these, put in here, put in here, put in here. Uh, I don't know, a couple of them, a couple of them. I'm gonna go in here, look, oof, oh my God, there, there is a lot of them in here, I don't want this. So what we can do is, let me go in here to my movies container. I'm going to put a flex wrap of wrap, okay? Now is looking better. I also want some space between the movies, okay? Let me see how much did I have. Uh, I'm going to put a margin of 10 pixels all around. So I'm going in here to my movie container and I'm going to put a margin of 10 pixels all around. So now it looks better. Okay, so basically now everything is, um, oops, my, my microphone just dropped down. I hope, I hope you can still hear, fine. Um, right, um, so everything is now laid out. So as you can see, what we did in here is not fine, okay? We are not using the full potential of React. Okay, so that's what we are going to do in the next video. Okay, we are going to refactor all this code that we have in here and we are going to actually start using some uh, re reacts in here. So, yeah, I don't want to make this video too long, guys. And uh, that's it for this video. And I'll see you in the next one.